Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Welcome to the Vic Eats Kitchen. This is kind of my first long form video on YouTube. I'm very excited because today we're going to be making minestrone soup. <laughs> um, it's a very simple recipe filled with veggies and protein. It's great for meal prep. It's great if you want to stay on track. I'm really excited to make it. It's one of my favorite. It's one of my favorite soups ever. So Without further ado, let's get into the video. I have all of the veggies here, and the first step is going to be prepping all the veggies and chopping them up. So we're going to start with onion. So start by taking your onion, and I just like slicing mine lengthways and um, chopping off the tip of it on both sides. I like to leave the root on because it helps it stay together while you chop it up. And we're basically aiming for all of the veggies to be into small cubes. You want to keep all of the veggies consistent so that way when you take a bite they're all all the veggies are the same size and we have some garlic i have four cloves um feel free to use more or less um i am a garlic girl so i'm always adding extra garlic um but just measure with your heart i'm using a grater and i'm just grating it and we're also going to be chopping up some carrots and celery i'm doing three stalks of celery and two carrots and slice them into um, small cubes, kind of like a finely fine dice. So cut it lengthways like this, and just slice it. Honestly, chopping all the veggies is probably the most time-consuming and annoying part of the rest of this recipe. If you have one of those choppers, those really cool, like everyone has them now. Those like I don't know what they're called. That would be super convenient. I do not kind of want to get one. I saw it on Amazon. It would make this probably a lot faster and easier, but I don't know. We have to chop our some green beans. Um, I'm going to slice off each side and then I'm going to cut them into about one inch, half an inch pieces. That again is kind of the same size as the rest of the vegetables. So just take each side off like that and chop it up maybe into like okay maybe that's smaller than an inch but kind of like that if you i gotta be honest with you i think cutting green beans is probably the most tedious task i literally rather cut any other vegetable uh would i maybe not butternut squash uh that's a bit tough to cut if anyone's ever cut that before it's so hard and sweet potato too you have to have a really good knife I think it's because it's like you have to go through each piece of green bean to make sure it's like perfectly cut. They're not all the same size, so that's making it hard. Okay, we did it. We cut up all the green beans. That was a, that took a while. So put them back in the bowl. We have some zucchini. Um, one thing I will mention about this recipe, and it will also be noted in the blog post, you can use whatever kind of veggies that you like or have on hand. I always say that all the time because um, Hold on, I'm gonna rinse these. Okay, so now we have all of our veggies cut up. So we have our onions and garlic, our celery and carrots, zucchini and green beans. And I just wanna like point out a few other ingredients that we're gonna be using. Have spinach as well, olive oil for sauteing, obviously. <laughs> and we have beans. There's nothing wrong with these beans. I just overcooked them. They are white cannellini beans. Um, again, I just overcooked them, so they're a little mushy, but they're fine. I just cooked them. I just wanted to note, because I know people probably ask, are they rotten? No, they're not. <laughs> and then red kidney beans. And a can of diced tomatoes. Some broth. And spices. And some elbow macaroni. So those are all the ingredients you need to make the soup. So let's get to actually creating the soup. Let's get started by turning the heat on, adding some olive oil to the pot. You can use any other oil, avocado, whatever you like. Add in your diced onion. Okay, that for just a minute. Okay, add in your minced garlic. And by the way, I have this on about medium, medium high heat, just depends on your stove. Mine runs a little bit hotter so i have it on medium heat and now the onions and garlic are super fragrant and i can see that they're starting to become translucent so i'm actually going to be adding my carrots and my celery it's been about a minute and you can see they're starting 
you can see that the onions, garlic, carrots, and celery are all starting to soften a little bit, which is good. That's a good sign. Go ahead and add in your zucchini, green beans, your kidney beans, your white beans, diced tomato, and the juices too. Broth. A mix of spices. So these spices, I have salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, Italian seasoning, and red chili flakes. The red chili flakes are optional. You don't have to add them, but I like the heat. And I think I'm going to add a little bit more broth. Now just bring this to a light simmer. So I'm putting the heat on about medium, medium high. I'm going to give this a stir, <laughs> pop the lid on, and let it simmer. The soup has been simmering for about 20 minutes. The veggies are nice and soft. They've cooked down. Everything's thickened a little bit. So at this point, after 20 minutes, you wanna add your elbow macaroni. I recommend using elbow macaroni. I think it fits the best for this recipe, but you could also use any type of small pasta that you may have on hand. Um, I wouldn't recommend using anything large. You really wanna stick to something small. So add that to your pot. And we're going to continue to cook it on about a medium heat, medium, medium high, depending on your stove, like I mentioned. And we're going to let those cook for about eight minutes. And then in the last two minutes, we'll add our spinach. Nice and softened now. Everything's nice and cooked. And the last part is just adding the last ingredient, which is spinach. Two cups of spinach. You can chop it. I'm not. I'm just, it's baby spinach. So I'm just leaving it as is. Add that to the pot and let it wilt for one to two minutes. And our soup is ready. Okay, our soup is finally ready. As you can see, it it does yield a very big pot. It's perfect if you have a family. It's perfect if you work or go to school and you need some school lunches. Oh my gosh, it looks so good and it smells amazing. All right, everyone, that is how you make minestrone soup filled with veggies, tons of protein from the beans. I love it. Um, I also cut up some bread and some lemon to add and to garnish to eat with it. So we'll do a taste test now. Let's taste. I'm gonna add a little bit of lemon juice to mine. I'm so excited. <laughs> this looks really good. It's really similar to a recipe I've done before called soup of Fijão, which is like a Portuguese soup that I've made for my blog, um, inspired by my mom. Okay, let's try it. Cheers. Mm. It's really good. The lemon juice adds a little bit of acid, which I think the soup needs, but maybe not everybody likes that. Um, it brightens it up a little bit, makes it a little bit more vibrant. It's delicious. It's hearty and filled with veggies. This would be such a great lunch or dinner, like a meal prep. You know, make it, make a big batch on Sunday and just eat it for the rest of the week. So, okay, so that is it for today's video. Um, I hope you guys liked it. I'm trying to do more like healthy recipes for, you know, the new year and stuff. I know in January, everybody loves to make new year's resolutions. So I like to make soup all year round. I'm even a weirdo that makes soup in the summer. So as always, the full recipe with measurements and detailed instructions will be on my website, viceats.com. So make sure to check that out if you're interested in recreating, it this, recreating this at home. If you do make this at home, please let me know how it goes. I hope it turns out well for you. Anyways, please like and subscribe. I would appreciate it so much. And check out my channel for more recipes. I have done a lot of different shorts within the past couple years, but this is kind of like my first long form video on YouTube, which is exciting. So if you're interested in seeing more content like this, please comment down below. And if you have any recipe ideas that you want me to make, maybe some plant-based ones, healthier ones, please let me know. Thank you so much for watching.